Okay, everybody, do you know what we got going on today? Real super easy video. Like I said, the Articat ATV project is gonna document every type of maintenance that I can think of as I do it, whether it be hard or super easy. And this one's super easy because we're changing the oils and the differential. Now, personally, myself, I would change the oils every year because you'd be surprised how much water you do get in them, especially if you like to play in the mud. So let's get started. What we're gonna use this time around is I picked up some Amsoil ATV UTV transmission and differential fluid. Gonna use that, and this is a pump. We're gonna use to pump it in. This pump is from Amsoil as well, so it's specially designed for these bottles. But there are pumps that you can buy that could fit regular uh, gear oil bottles as well. So I just removed the plastics for clarity. It's not really needed. But you can see that bolt right up in there. That's your drain with the oil will go through that hole in the floor, obviously. And then we need to remove that bolt right there because we need to fill the fluid up to that level. And then that's your fill, of course. It's an eight millimeter, so if you do it with the plastics done up, you'll just reach through and you can see right there. So I'm just going to... Oh yeah, we got some water in there. There's some water in there. This is not good. There's a shit ton of water. Now we're gonna remove the small one. Eight millimeter. And then this big one right there is a 17 mil. Well, I guess that kind of explains why my 4x4 actuator got hooped. Differential would have been frozen and would have tried to engage. Need to take some brake cleaner, spray it inside. Flush any of that shit out. Just got that drain plugged back in. Let's have a look at this oil. Our water. Our brake cleaner. Whatever it is. At least on the side note, there's no chunks of metal. You can see the multi layers brake cleaner, oil, water. Now I got my pump. Stick it in there. Got oil coming out of that bottom hole, so now we can seal her up. The rear differential is going to be the same. There's that little bolt in the bottom of the differential there. And then that's your fill hole right there. Hopefully this one won't be filled with water like the other one. There you go. If you're creative, you can make it happen. Well, at least there's more oil in this one. That's pretty much got a drain. I'm gonna put the little plug back in. Might be a bit awkward if you got fat fingers, but use an extension, thread her in there, turn her in by hand. You can clearly see the water contamination in this one too, but it's not as bad as the front diff. We're in the front differential, it had the other plug down below, and we filled it up to that point there. This one here, is about eight ounces so we need to fill it up one inch below the fill mark our fill hole
Well, it's time to shut her down. What valuable lesson did we learn today? We got some serious front end differential issues. Probably gonna look at doing a rebuild this coming winter. Possibly an axle swap as well. Because that dirt plate or that ring that prevents dirt and stuff from getting inside, wrecking the seal, that's hooped. But uh, mostly water in the diff and very little oil is not a good sign. Besides for that, the differential oil change is very easy. I apologize for the poor quality video because it's pretty small to get in there and uh, I tried to use the best camera angles as I possibly could. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We're going to ride it like this until probably winter time and then bring it back inside, pull the differential out and rebuild it. If you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, I want to thank you guys for watching.